good morning. I was planning on getting up at like 10.30 today. I had my alarm for that. And it's now 12.30. And I've only just woken up properly. I just couldn't get out of bed earlier, to be honest. And I think my body just needed the extra rest. So I've slept for about 12 hours, which is nice. And I'll have a puppy here. It's a little puppy pup. A white pup as well. Hi. Hi. But I'm going to go downstairs and make myself breakfast. So, I'll see you there. So I know I said I was going to go downstairs and have breakfast, but I decided to edit a vlog instead and it's just gone up. Oh, mate. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Since I wasn't able to clean everything I wanted yesterday, I'm just going to show you. I did the clothing. Um, this is what I have left of makeup and skincare and stuff. I want this table to be completely clear of anything, essentially. So I'm going to do that tonight before I go to bed with some YouTube on and a little bit of something to eat when I'm done. So I put the makeup away. I got the makeup, the skincare, everything that belongs in a drawer is now in a drawer. The problem is the place I keep my brushes and the mirror and everything is on my desk and my desk is a mess. So I'm going to have to tackle my desk next. next. <laughs> I had an instance when I edited the vlog that I uploaded today where I was saying something and I couldn't actually make out what I was saying because I was rambling over top of something. Um, it was just, it sounded odd. I almost just did that, which is why I said it. But <laughs> I need to clean the desk enough so that I can put the stuff that belongs on the desk on the desk. Um, otherwise it's just, just going to take up the space on the table and I don't want that. But I got a little bit done which is good. Also was able to separate and sort some trash which was nice. I have one bag that I need to take out. But other than that, it's decently, decently clean for me which is good. I'm exhausted today. Even though I slept 12 hours, my body really needed it. I still think I could definitely sleep 12 hours tonight as well. But I'm just going to relax with a bit of YouTube, possibly Criminal Minds episode. I finished season 10 last night, but I didn't start season 11. Um, so I think I'm going to do that now. It kind of is a bit sad that the person who plays Kate, I think it's Jennifer Love Hewitt? I think it's her. She's no longer going to be here. I kind of hope that she comes back in the future, but I don't think she does. I really liked her character. I had that thing with most of the, like, I loved Emily Prentice, I loved, you know, JJ, and when she went away, which is a spoiler a lot, I was really sad, you know, because I wanted them both. It balances the team, I think, to have females there as well, not just a table full of ma males and then Penelope Garcia. I really like that they do try to keep some sort of balance to it. Um, I kind of hope she comes back because I like her, but I do believe... Aisha Tyler is actually coming this season, which is also going to be very exciting. So, I think I'm going to watch at least two episodes of that. And then I'm going to go to bed. I had to top up my prescription yesterday because I have one left of the Salotex pills that I take. And I take four. So, I needed to top that up, but they did that without problems. So starting my second bottle of that I was instructed to um, up my dosage every week uh, I started my dosage on four last Monday but today it's Saturday I decided to keep the dosage of four going this week and I'll probably do that again for another week because I do think I've noticed a difference like I don't think I, I am in as much pain um, as I have been. I might try to take it up to five just to see um, if that will make it even better. Um, or I might just try and go down to two and see if it was actually different. But I think four could be the lucky number for me here, which is great. I also edited, the vlog I edited today was the doctor's appointment vlog where I talked about uh, potentially getting a wheelchair for me. I have an update on that. Um, let me just Google the word. So he sent the thing. 
the word I was coming for was an I was the word I was looking for is occupational therapist. Um, so she's actually he or she, the occupational therapist assessing me is coming on Thursday. Thursday, I was really surprised. I got a letter last week, two weeks ago. I think it maybe I think it may have been before I went away that they had received my doctor's letter uh, and that I would be hearing from them because they have to do that. They have to let you know within a certain time frame and then you have to wait even longer before you get an appointment. Uh, they said they would be hearing from me, uh, but they actually called my mum because they didn't have my number, which I found a bit odd because I am over the age of 18. Uh, so I am responsible for my own things. Um, and medically, they should talk to me, not my mum. For some reason, they had my mum's number, not mine, but I don't mind just <laughs> because she does everything with me. All of my appointments and everything, she comes with me be so that I have a second opinion there and someone with a bit be better memory than me who can help me remember stuff. But the therapist is coming on Thursday. I'm very nervous for two reasons. One, it's very soon. I was given a week's notice. Two, they're coming to my house or our house. I was expecting to have to go down to the hospital, so I'm very nervous. I've had um, sessions with occupational therapists before. I went there monthly, every other week-ish, when I first got sick and went through the diagnosing process in 2012. I saw an um, occupational therapist for about six months, um, give or take. Didn't really help out much, but that was partially my own fault. Because I, at that point, hadn't realised how sick I was. I kind of have now. It's taken me six fucking years. But the therapist is coming on Thursday. So that is potentially good news, I hope. I'm very nervous about what they're going to do, though. That's the thing. From um, the rheumatic hospital, which I went to last week, the week before last, I am bad with days and numbers and stuff like that uh we were set to write ourselves goals i think i talked about that previously but one of my goals that i will be working on is being able to walk and stand for more than five minutes at a time because i end up in excruciating amounts of pain and i know i'm talking really quickly but i've been talking for seven fucking minutes i hate editing really long clips so i want to get it out there as fast as possible uh one of my goals as i said is to be able to walk and stand and um the nurse there recommended a psychomotoric. Let me Google that too. Yeah, psychomotor, psychomotor phys physical therapy, uh, physiotherapy. I think it's the same thing. Uh, she recommended that. Uh, my doctor knows that. I'm not seeing him for another couple of weeks. I think. Um, I think I have an appointment with him in early August, which is fine. Unless, of course, something else comes up. But she recommended that as well as working out. Uh, now, as I said previously, the video hasn't gone up yet, which is why I always find it weird that I'm saying this. Um, I'm switching my workouts to doing yoga instead. I only was able to do it once this week because I've been so uh, stuffy and sick. Uh, fairly certain I've had a pretty bad cold. I usually get them about five times a year, but... My throat has been the biggest problem where breathing has been a bit of an issue because I can't breathe properly through my nose. But if I breathe a lot with my mouth, I get nasty coughs and it hurts. So I have decided to just take it easy. And it's worked out pretty well. I'm feeling a lot better now. Uh, but she recommended those two things. And I am start have started these, which are um, the number one medication in Norway that, that actually works with fibromyalgia to decrease pain. So I'm hopeful that they're going to agree with me saying that I need a wheelchair. Probably not permanently, but at least for the next year, I would say, until I'm able to physically work up to where my body isn't so weak that it hurts to stand. Because I do think a lot of it is just that I'm very weak. I don't have a lot of muscle. And your body requires a bit to stand up straight and walk around a lot. 
and with my two previous incidents that almost ended me in a wheelchair, well, one of them actually did end me in a wheelchair, I am a bit cautious about walking for long periods of time, and right now I'm in a position where I can barely leave my house, even to do something as simple as grocery shopping. So, I am hopeful that the occupational therapist is going to help me a bit there, uh, and that... I will get a wheelchair. It probably sounds a bit dramatic to some people, but I've been stuck in my house for six years. And if that is the tool that's going to help me get out of the house, then that is going to be fucking phenomenal. And I need that. So, hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'm going to have a good tone with the therapist. But that's going to be my week coming up. That was really... That was a long chat about that. I'm exhausted though. Um, I probably didn't sound exhausted um, in this clip because I have a little bit of energy. I usually get energy when talking about something that I'm passionate about. My health is something I am now very passionate about and I would like to become a functioning member of society. Which is a bit odd to say, but I feel I'm not very functional for society. I can't work, I can't even go to school. Fuck it, I can barely leave the house. Uh, so I do need more help than I'm currently getting. And I'm hoping the wheelchair is going to be one of those tool that, tools that's going to make it easier for me to get out of the house. But I'll talk to you more when I can about that. I'm hopeful that it's going to be a good thing on Thursday. The fact that it's only a week's notice is going to both make me excited because it's going to, I don't have to wait for forever, but I'm also going to be worried for about seven days, so, uh, all until that thing is done. Um, but thank you for watching. Any questions, pop them down below. I will answer them if I can. Uh, and I will see you again hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.